At the MTV Movie Awards, one category has long stood above the others, Best Kiss. While other awards have been shuffled over the years, Best Kiss has held strong since 1992. Early winners were sweet and uncontroversial, My Girl, Untamed Heart, and the like. But by 1998, when I was 11, I saw something on the show I didn't expect, especially not sitting on the couch next to my parents. It was the first time I remember seeing two men share a romantic kiss. But let's back up. The MTV Movie Awards premiered on June 10, 1992, about a year after Primetime's first same-sex kiss on L.A. Law. MTV's relationship with gay viewers was already evolving around this time, with the debut season of The Real World, which featured a gay housemate. Two years later, the show introduced Pedro Zamora, who was HIV positive. One heartbreaking episode shows Zamora and his boyfriend's commitment ceremony. There were kisses. Zamora died about two weeks after it aired. The movie awards didn't welcome same-sex couples right away. In the first four years, the only non-heterosexual nominees were a boy and a killer whale and Free Willy. The gays would have to wait until 1997. That year, the awards honored the leather-bound lovers of Bound, played by Gina Gershon and Jennifer Tilly. Inexplicably, the kiss didn't win, but the stage was set. The 1998 show featured the kiss I saw with my parents, a smooch between Kevin Klein and Tom Selleck from In and Out. It led me to see the movie about a teacher who slowly realizes he's gay. Are you really gay? <laughs> the movie, let's say, was instructive to me. Watch the hands. Oh. From there, including a same-sex snog in the nominees became as obligatory as the winners recreating their kiss on stage. Wild Things brought us the first three-way, and then in 2000, Cruel Intentions produced the first same-sex win. When Buffy swapped spit with another woman on basic cable, MTV had passed the point of no return. There would be straight guys kissing, more threesomes, and Marvel superheroines kissing other women. Even when Twilight began its four-year string of wins, Robert Pattinson didn't just go in for a kiss with co-winner Kristen Stewart. He had his eyes on another co-star. The only time a winning kiss involved two gay characters was in 2006, when Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger clinched the award for Brokeback Mountain. Oh, it's the fellas. It was moving, even though Ledger wasn't in attendance to recreate the moment. This is a, 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 a real honor, not just for, for me and Heath, but for all of you that you picked this, this movie and this kiss over all the other ones. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. That may seem like an easy sentiment, but it was a big deal. And so was the category's longtime embrace of same-sex kisses. Sure, they were included to boost the ratings as much as to make a point, but there was still huge symbolic power in bringing these images to a flashy national stage, especially one favored by young people. And so when the awards air on...